Alright, today we'll be installing this in there today. It's a 3.0 USB card. Finally got it just now, so let's roll. Yes, we're going to have this one help us install today. So yeah, I've been arranged to get one of these and I finally got one of them. Which causes that for shorter smaller cases. Yeah, I guess installer disc. Well, driver's disc that is. I know. That's it. Oh yeah, goes figure. And there's the card. Pretty compact for a little card. So it should be. First, I'm going to put that somewhere safe. And we'll just say this dog looks to be a pain in the ass sometimes. So yes, I do. Oh, I know you do. It's kind of funny. That's pretty much should work with the error system. If you like to save them and probably swap them out easily without getting your special one for it. Here comes a card. How easy it is. Kind of dark in here, but I can make it work. There we go. I have a scary feeling that this little guy it might be goes in, but I feel like the back plate's kind of too long here. Or it might not be here in the right place.
Okay, there we go. It kind of goes... To me, that little bracket goes over that little uh, hinge. Like, if you put the bracket, well, that card in it, it actually goes over the bracket hole for that. Wait, look, it goes in there. It's a matter of seeing and feeling you're at. I'm gonna put this guy back. Anything else? They like to use some weird. Words are these words are kind of uh, something, but it's their job done. But everything else, I was fill these. You can actually hand screw them off. Well, till you get too far in, but or too tight, you can't hand screw them or hand tighten them. Display. Okay, there you are. The kind of thing with these, they're very finicky and hardware low on. You just always gotta give it a kind of a longer weight. You put any kind of newer, well, any kind of part in here, you gotta kind of be patient with them. And of course you're gonna the L series aside. See, so recognizes it. Sweet, 
So big question is is that USB devices work? Works false. It's kind of rubs on certain things, kind of too rough, but still not bad. So, yeah, it does recognize the card. Uh, after this, I'll make kind of a little video of how to how get the card works and that type of stuff. So, yeah, that's the one upgrades for the Mac. The next will be again at solid state drive in here. At least one for the three bays. So yeah, that'd be about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, here's kind of a test at the salt with the three pro car comparison on the Mac Pro Tower at salt. So with a two pro flash drive and a two pro port, it got it got up to two minutes and thirty four seconds flat. Then with that same two pro flash drive and my putting a three pro port, I got at least two two minutes and seven seconds flat. Not too bad. About thirty minutes off or thirty or thirty seconds off. My bad. So with three point flash drive, which it's the same one I made a video the other day with the portable Mac kind of stalled. I had to wipe it because I didn't have storage to do this file test with. So with that three point flash drive on a two point port, about three minutes and ten seconds flat. Then with it on a two point or three point port, got up to two second or two minutes and twenty seconds flat. Which that's not bad at all. Then with that three point flash drop, I now that's with FAT32. When I formatted as Mac, formatted same boot time on a three point port, then on three point port, just a couple seconds off, so it's pretty much accurate either way you look at it. So that's not too bad of a drop difference for that three point card. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's not too bad. It's definitely gonna make some little things a little smoother on speed. So that's kind of a quick test salt right there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys later.